Nasal deformity in severe rhinophyma patients. The Demodex mite as a rosacea inflammatory cascade trigger that results in tissue hyperplasia, fibrosis, aberrant cosmesis, and functional impairment. Demodex folliculorum illustration. Subject 1. Giant rhinophyma patient. Subject 2. Nasal deformity, frontal view. Another giant rhinophyma patient. Subject 2. Side view of the giant rhinophyma patient. Mites are minute four-legged arachnids upon adulthood residing in soil and existing as parasites on animals or plants. Demodex mites are obligate saprophytic human ectoparasites located at or near pilosebaceous units and sebaceous glands on human beings. Saprophytes are microscopic organisms that feed on non-living organic matter. Micrograph of Demodex mites infesting hair follicles within the body of the skin of the hosts, causing infiltration and inflammatory cells around the follicles. Demodex mites are considered to be a vector transporting bacteria on the face. They may secrete immune inhibitors, possibly playing a role in the skin inflammation associated with their sebaceous gland colonization. The Demodex species of mites crawls, excretes feces via a pore upon death, and multiplies throughout the entirety of their life cycle in the sebaceous gland. Such infestation often remains asymptomatic, becoming pathogenic in substantial numbers attributable to immune imbalance. Cutaneous diseases attributable to Demodex mites are referred to as demicoidosis or demodicidosis, existing as etiological elements or resembling various dermatoses. Demodex folliculorum, common to the face, or Demodex brevis, common to the neck and chest, are species found on human beings. This ambulatory mite is covered with scales for anchoring and hair follicles. Its pin resembling oral apparatus consumes skin cells, hormones, and sebum that accumulate in the follicles. Demodex mites are typically located on the cheeks, nose, nasolabial folds, chin, forehead, temples, eyelashes and brows, periorbital area, ectopic sebaceous glands of the oral mucosa, the balding scalp, neck, ears, chest, back, penis, mons veneris, and buttocks. My transmission between hosts occurs via hair, eyebrow, nasal, and sebaceous gland contact. Illustration of factors involved in pathogenesis. Rosacea is a chronic skin disease, generally of the middle third of the face, characterized by persistent erythema, telangiectasia, acute edema, papules, 
and pustules, occurring most severely in men. Rosacea cavitis, also referred to as acne rosacea cavitis, is a severe complication due to corneal involvement occasionally leading to ulceration. Another severe complication is the common phymatous rosacea of rhinophyma, involving sebaceous hyperplasia of the lower half of the nose and sometimes adjacent cheeks. Alcohol, heat, microbes, spicy foods, stress, and ultraviolet light are triggers of rosacea. They induce a cascading innate and subsequent adaptive immune response spiraling out of control. This inflammatory response constitutes a continuum occurring from disease onset even in the absence of visible clinical signs of inflammation. The demodex mite is being increasingly accepted as a trigger of the severe inflammatory cascade whose proliferation is indicative of rosacea. Resulting papular pustules respond to treatment with topical acaricides, which are toxic and devastating to mites and ticks. Demodex mites may induce dendritic cells that are tolerogenic, collaborating with vascular endothelial growth factor, inducing T-cell exhaustion, allowing for their proliferation. This may not be clinically viable upon its onset. Control and cure of the severe inflammatory cascade mitigates the progression of rosacea to rhinophyma, its most severe hypertrophic manifestation. Illustration of telangiectactic vessels and marked lymphocytic inflammatory reaction. Subject 1, 7 months after surgery. Subject 2, post-operative wound epithelialization. Preoperative and postoperative severe rhinophyna patient. Photograph presented with the generous permission of Thomas Romo III, MD. New presentations coming soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you, subscribers.